Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N R. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the math portion of the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase it immediately. You're going to need it. You're going to need it in order for you to be able to follow my work. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 162. Page 162 and today is our lesson number 71, the bottom problem. It's a very easy problem, it's a very simple problem, straightforward problem. Uh, but I'm going to do it regardless because on the day one, today is our day number 71, on the day one I made a pledge that uh, when I embark on this project that um, I was going to do every single problem from this book. And the way I put it is that regardless of how ridiculously simple it may be, this is one of those problems. It is ridiculously simple, but we're going to do it nonetheless. All you have to do is read the chart. They're asking you, the question simply here is, for which of the eight years from 2001 to 2008 did the export exceed imports by more than $5 billion? The only reason why you will mess it up, while you will get this question wrong, the only reason is carelessness. There is no other reason. So don't be careless. Don't take. Don't be cocky. Take your time. It is one thing to get a hard question wrong, but something like this is a gift. Do you understand? Let's take a look at it here. So we have 2001, 2002. I was going to put everything on the blackboard ahead of time, but this way actually you can see uh, what's going on here? Exports and imports and read from the chart. I, I already have the readings so I'm just going to put them on the blackboard and you verify with me from the chart if I'm right or wrong. In 2001 it looks like exports were 10, 10 billion and the imports were just under 2 billion. This is how you write just under 2 billion. It means something less than 2 billion. In 2002 the exports were 13 billion and the ex imports were little over 3 billion. 3 billion, just a little over 3 billion. This is how you write, a little over 3. C says 2003, 2004, and in 2003, it looks like exports were 14 billion, imports were a little under 4 billion. In 2004, exports were a little under 9 billion, and the imports were looks like exactly 4 billion. I want to verify that, exactly 4 billion. In 2004, the imports Imports 2004, yep, exactly 4 billion. Let's carry on then. Let's carry on. Instead of doing it way at the bottom here, since we have the room, let's make a use of it here. Oh, what the hell, let's, let's continue here. E and F, 2005, 2006. I changed my mind because otherwise I'll have to write all the headings and everything again. And it's easy to see here. 2005, it is little under 9 billion, little under 9 billion, and this is 5 billion. 2006, we have little under 16 billion, and this is little under 6 billion. And then finally, G and H, in 2007 and 2008, in 2007, the exports lo looks to me like they're little over 12 billion. In 2007, Exports are little over 12 billion. That's what I read. I may be wrong. You verify it, okay? Little over 12 billion. And this is 7 billion. And, and finally, in 2008, the exports of 11 billion to me, looks like, and the imports are 5 billion. So all we have to do, all we have to do now is to look at the difference between the exports and imports. Look at the difference, and if the difference is more than 5, it counts. If it's not more than 5, it doesn't count. That's all it is. We are looking for... We are looking for... A difference of... A difference of... 5 or more. That's what we are looking for. 5 or more. So let's do. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Well, if it's 10 billion, if it's 10 billion and this is little under 2 billion, the difference is going to be more than 5, obviously it counts. This is little under, little over 3 and this is 13, which means the difference is going to be little under, 
little under little under 10 but the difference is going to be more than 5 that counts this is the, this difference is going to be, this is little under 4 this is 14 which means the difference is going to be little under 10 but more than 5 is more than 5 so it counts here we have something less than 9 and a 5 uh, a 4 or something less than 9 and a 4 the difference is going to be less than 5 it does not count again here we have something less than 9 and this is a 5 the difference of something a number that is a little under 9 and a 5 is going to be a little under 4 that does not count ah something less than 16 16 minus something less than 16 does not mean that it is 2 something less than 16 means it's more than 15 but under 16 Something less than 16 minus something less than 6 is going to give us something less than 10, but that's more than 5. That counts. Something more than 12 and a 7 is going to be something more than well, something more than 5. What do you know? That counts. And finally, 11 exactly and a 5, that's a difference of 6, which is more than 5. That counts. It looks like everything counts except the D and E. That's it. That's what we are done. We are done with this problem. As I told you before, it was a very simple question. So the answers are... Answers are A, B, C, A, B, C, and F, G, H. In a question like this, and it, and you will get questions like this in the exam. These are the new format where more than one answer choices are correct. In a question like this, sometimes it turns out to be very time consuming tedious and time consuming. Not, this one was not difficult, but it is time consuming. What I'm going someplace with it. Listen carefully. So therefore, particularly for something like this, I don't want to find out that I spent all that time and I found a five and I missed one bloody one. Well, bloody one or not bloody one, it doesn't really matter. If you missed one, you're not going to get any credit, even though you put in all this time to do the other five. So it's very important that you take your time. Do you understand? If there are four right answers, and you managed to locate three of them, you did three quarters of the work correctly, but you're not going to get any credit for it unless you mark all the questions that are that, that all the answer choices that are correct answer choices. Do you understand? Of course you do. I will see you tomorrow on day number 72, and we're just going to keep on going. Okay? Bye now.